Hello everyone, hope you're well. My name is Hira Maina, aka Kamuhunja, and God bless you for always uh, supporting Kamuhunja Show. I don't take that for granted. So today's program, we are proudly sponsored by Tabiri Homes and Properties. We are located in Spa Mall, Roiro Kimbo, near Nibs College, and uh, we deal in selling of properties. Uh, if you want to own a property or invest, uh, you can come to Tabiri Homes and Properties. As I have said, we are located in Spa Mall, first floor, room F39. That is where our offices are. Currently, we have a project in Kilimabobo. We are calling it Mountain View Gardens. And this project is located along Vika Garissa Highway. And it is just 40 minutes drive from Vika Town. And of course, around uh, seven minutes from Aldon Sabuk. All you have to do, guys, is book a site visit so that you can be able to uh, view the uh, the plots that we have. And uh, this project or these plots, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot. And with just 50,000, you can be able to acquire this plot. All you have to do is deposit 50,000, then pay the balance in six months installment. If you have cash amount, all you have to do is deposit uh, 310. That is for cash uh, price, 310,000 Kenya shillings. And of course, the amount is inclusive of the title deed. So you can uh, call us so that you can be able to purchase uh, or own a property with us uh, using our mobile number that is 0719393939. Uh, or you can visit our offices. Remember as always that when you invest with Tabiri Homes and Properties, you protect your future and that of your generation. And uh, guys, today I have a very, very sad story of a young guy. I will call him a young man because he's around, uh, he's of 22 years of age. And allow me today to hide the identity of this young man and allow me to give him also a name that will protect his identity due to the story that we have today. Allow us to call him John so that we can be able to converse with him and be able to understand his story and his side of the story. Our story today uh, is of this young man who slept with his sister and I mean his biological sister and thereafter, the consequences or the, or, or, uh, the repercussion of sleeping together, they were able to sire a child. Believe it or not, uh, the story did not end well for this young man because uh, of how uh, the family came to know about the entire story and how they rejected him. And of course, even the sister, uh, uh, coming to a point of uh, killing uh, their all their, 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 their child or the, 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 the child that they sired with John. And because he's here, it is good that we listen to his side of the story and hear him out so that we can be able to uh, get even to his family so that we can be able to bring you know uh, the matter into uh, into consideration so that the family can be able to forgive him. And as I always say that uh, it is always good to listen so that we can be able to uh, to help where we can. Uh, John Habaria. Zuri. Uh, Tukianzia, naezataka utuambie. Uh, I've given a brief story of how uh, you had a relationship with your biological sister. It is good for you uh, that you may start you know, by telling us how was your relationship, be, you know, the relationship between you and your sister, how was it uh, to happen? It was a the relationship between me and my sister, it was just a normal sister brother relationship. Na hatukuwa na mambo mingi tulikuwa tu hivyo. I kuwa any thing attachment ni vila tu unashi vizuri na sister ko, just a normal life. Vila tu watoto wengine hukua. So, at what point did now things, you know, start getting intense? Na ukajipata, there is something going on between you and, and uh, your sister. At what point? 
So, tulimaliza primary school, tukaingia secondary school na tukiwa high school tuna tukakuwa tuna watch movies kwa laptop na venye hiyo process ya ku watch movies pamoja kwa kitanda moja tukishare bed. Hapo ndo nikapata napata feelings. Sometimes najipata napata hardons na pia nikiguza sistangu naona anakata kata sometimes anani entertain so ilianzia hapo hapo ndo like that's where everything started so uh, how old were you during that time mama ulikuwa form i was in form 3 my sister was in form 1 so hiyo kitu iliendelea mpaka mkamaliza high school ama kuliendaje Yes, iliendelea mpaka tukamaliza high school. And then tulifika nilifika mahali naona dadangu ameni entertain I, I got used to it. So it, it wasn't like something that ingenipea stress kufanya. So I got used to it to it like hiyo mchezo mchezo kuguzana. So ilienda mpaka nikamaliza high school. Yeah, see at ilisimama and what were you doing eh is a type maybe you mlikuwa mna kiss ama ni kushika shikana shikana tu kissing kushikana kawaida tu like romancing so uh there, there was this day nilitoka campus as always and my sister hakuwa shule So nilifika nyumbani na kuingia kwa room yetu uh, tunaishi kwa room moja but we don't like we don't share beds so ako na yake mimi niko na yangu so kuingia kwa room ni kapata dadangu ndo ametoka kuoga ana ana shower alikuwa ametoka kushawa ndo ana change So ile kawaida tu yetu venye tumekuwa from high school kuguzana guzana and all that so mimi nikakuja kucheza na yeye kama kama like hana nguo na I resist kidogo kidogo but finally akakubali and tukajipata tusha tusha make out na tusha 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 have sex na yeye hiyo siku so uh, all this time na nataka maybe kwanza utuambie all this time umekuwa uki ukikuwa maybe na hizo moment with your sister the kissing part and the romance part there is no way wazazi wako walijua uh, all those years that mna making out with your sister hakujua na hange ha, waijua juu wana tuona sisi ni watoto la tuko pamoja mimi na dadangu tunaishi pamoja ni kitu ya kawaida tu hawezi pata hiyo hiyo kupata hiyo idea ati mimi na dadangu tunaweza kuwa tuna tuna, tuna engage kwa hizo vitu so tuliishi tu hivyo all that time na hawakujua walikuja kujua after sasa tume have sex na dadangu so now when you had sex um, that moment Um, how was it for you both how did you feel after the entire uh, activity kitu kwanza yenye ilishtua ni nilipata sistangu ni virgin yo ilinishtua sana nika nikaona unajua like unajua uki have sex ukishamaliza ndo you come back to your senses na unaona what you have done unaiona sasa kama uko huko kwa hiyo moment niliona sasa nimeteka wewe virginity ya sistangu na ile nishtua na sikuamini nilikuwa na guilt sana na tulinyamaziana for sometimes juu ya hiyo guilt na tukwa, tuka, tukaanza hatukuwa tunasikizana sikizana juu ya guilt most times alikuwa namsikia analia lia ili muhit what ili kuja ika muhit kile kimefanyika juu aliona ni kitu kubwa sana 
ali aliona kile kimefanyika hakikuwa kinafaa kufanyika so kila kitu ile stop to once ah uh, hiyo relationship ya, yangu na yeye tuna tunapitana tuongeleshani jia guilt tukaanza kuchukiana chukiana jia guilt after that because uh, your story is that you you sired a child with your sister with your blood, blood sister i want us to get there so that you can be able to tell us you told me that she got pregnant was it like the first time thing fenye 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 we had sex alipata mimba once na sikujua vile ilikuja ika happen when I have sex once na mtu anapata mimba ile ni shtua sana na mtu anapata mimba tu na sex ya kwanza like you from there to atukwe have sex tena na yeye ni hiyo tu ya kwanza na ndio ileleta hiyo mimba na how did you to realize that she was pregnant asiniambia kwambia aje. Niandikia message akaniambia ana ana kona mimba na na si mtu mwingine ni yangu. So how did you feel? Hapo ndo niliona ni kama dunia imesimama kila kitu imesimama juu sasa. Tadango kwa na mimba yangu si So all this is happening when you are still in your parents house. Yes. Na azazi yako amejua but walijua sasa hapo wazazi penye walijua ndo kila kitu sasa ikaharibika. Let's tell us how did they know? Walijua aje who told them how they respond to the issue. I remember that day. <laughs> nilikuwa na, na class ya siku na nakumbuka niki, nikienda 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 class ya usiku ni jebu kongea na sistangu kumsalimia asubuhi nione kama amemaliza hiyo story na hakuniongelesha so mimi nikaenda shule na kufika nikaambiwa class ime ina kansuliwa ndo ndo sasa nikarudi nyumbani then then rudi kuingia kwa nyumba kuingia kwa nyumba nikapata sasa wangu amekaa hapo na Kuangalia tu hivyo nilijua si stango amesema kila kitu. Bango kaniuliza. Hivyo mtu wangu unpregnated my sister. Was your sister there? Ah, 
mengambil. Now during those nine months of uh, pregnancy, uluweza to get in touch with your sister. I didn't block. I go to sing and that's so. Ni kwetu na tumia rafiki yangu kuangalia vile kila kitu inaendelea huko. Na ni basa. Hakuwa anajua hiyo mimba mimba ni yangu. So like watu wali believe tu sister yangu alipata mimba tu ya kawaida. Si atiti ni mtu ni yangu. So ali 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 bebo mtoto to nine months. Then jebu my best kuangalia vile kunaendelea but singe udi hata hiyo ya yetu. So when the time came for her to give birth, um, uliweza kujua alipata mtoto ama what happened? Rafiki yangu alikuwa ananiambia, aliniambia alipata mtoto. Rafiki yangu ni alikuwa ananisaidia kufuatilia kila kitu huko. Na sasa huyo mtoto alimpata wewe. <laughs> alimpata Na, for you because you said that uh, your sister after alipata mtoto ati alimuwa wewe ulijua haji that she killed the child how did you get to know about all that rafiki <laughs> yangu alikuwa anafuatia kila kitu na aliniambia tangu tangu mbele nikata kuinyesha mtoto na hata nasikia tangu sometimes i think what are you thought How did the baby die or how come that your sister killed the baby? Baby Kwanza Wana bem sister angu ju Yendo alinigreti yu mtoto Na yendo alifanya uyu mtoto Hape anwe Na vanya the baby died. Kwa watu ni walikuwa mepatua uyo mtoto akapasa kiwa huko? Halikufa. Yes, halikufa. So how did your sister, how did she play that role ya kuwa mtoto? Or what killed the baby? When you sit down and rethink of your life, do you kinda regret you know sleeping with your sister? Yes. That's the biggest regret in my life. Ndo the biggest regret in my life ju Singe kuwa kanya niko sayi Ju niya ibu maisha angu Sasa hata si Sina hata fami Familia angu hili kata Na sister yako wako wapi sayi Si chui Chui kwa niyako Nilikuwa Nilikuwa nilika Maali nika give up Na kia kitu Kiu sasa Kufuatilia ni napata depression Sida mtu Maisha ina kuwa ngumu Family Na unafuatilia kuwa mtu atako kusikia So Kuna mahali imefika Ukaweza kujaribu mimi kufikia wazazi wako Sahi as we are talking 
wazazi wamekutafuta hazitafuta hasa nikuja hapo nisaidie kuongea na hapia hicho ndio katara kuja na familia yetu sasa kwenye dunia peke yako you you seek spiritual authority and of course a lot of counseling uh, which i'm sure uh, we will get after this show so what i will try uh, because you have come to kamunja show uh, what i can say that i will try to do is get you those people spiritual authority and someone who can do counseling so that you can be able to start the process of healing and forgiving yourself and know that there is life after everything but if need to uh, be sure that I will bring uh, this story and uh, you know to, to, to see if I can be able even to get hold of the sister so that she can be also to talk to us and tell us how you know she has been able to go through the entire process or how she has been able to handle the entire issue uh, so I don't have much to say, just to thank you for watching our show. May God bless you and enlarge your territory. And as always remember um, that we are proudly sponsored by Tabiri Homes and Properties. Guys, we have a project that we are calling it Mountain View Gardens in Kilimambogo and we are selling it, uh, you know, a 50 by 100 piece of plot. We are selling it at 310,000 Kenya shillings cash and of course uh, you may choose to pay uh, in an installment so all you have to do is deposit 50,000 then clear the balance in six months installment all you have to do is come or book your site visit which happens every Saturday and uh, Wednesday uh, uh, from 8.30 a.m. we go to the site so that you can be able to see uh, the, the, the Kilimambogo uh, project that we are selling and remember the advantages of owning Kilimambogo is that it is just that uh, 40 minutes from Thika town and of course from the Shamba uh, where we, uh, the, 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 the Shamba is, uh, that road uh, will take you to Kangundo Road so it is very very uh, convenient from people who are living in Kangudo Road, Ruai. Uh, it is very easy to connect because from the Shamba to Kangudo Road it is just 25 minutes and from Dika Town to the site it is just uh, uh, to, 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 to the 40 minutes. And of course there are social amenities, there are schools, shopping center, uh, you know the plots that we are selling Ikohapo to Kwa Barabara so guys you can just come uh, to our office or call us 0719 is very simple 0719 or come to our offices you are welcome because stability homes and properties we always say that when you invest today you protect your future and that of your generation Karibu Tabiri Homes and Properties